Welcome to the hands-on about PC Rap. Purpose of this hands-on: we will try to hide a call to the lead linking API in the PC Rap region. The different step to achieve this: we will create a C file with the code we want to protect. Here it's a simple call to the Azure GPIO toggle pin. Then we will modify the linker script to ensure that we put all this code in a specific region of the flash. Then we will modify the compilation option to ensure that in this portion of code we only have execute on no data access. Step after, activate the PC wrap. We will do this thanks to STM32 Cube Programmer. Then we will check the protection with connection with Cube Programmer, for example. And then we will remove the PC wrap with STM32 Cube Programmer. And that's it. So I propose now we switch to Kubedeo. So the first step will be to create a project for this Nucleo L476LG. Okay, I create a new STM32 project in the board selector 476. I want the Nucleo one. PC group. Laid. Um, by default, I initialize the peripheral. So we've got our pinout by default. What interests us is the lead that we will use. Nothing else, frankly speaking, except the debugging link. Now let's create the code we want to protect. So I will create a new source file. Let's call it ledblinking.c with a G. It will be better. Finish. Then we will put here what we want to protect. So first I need to include the main.h with some definition on access to the shell. Um, I will put also a variable. So you remember PC wrap only protect uh, execute only region. So any data that I will put here will be in the SRAM or some somewhere else, but not in the flash. So it won't be protected. Okay. Okay. So let's define our secret lead blinking secret lead blinking function. Okay, no arguments. And what we will do here? We increment one counter. And after, I will do. Um, okay, if you don't remember what is the name of HL, or you want to do some completion, with the STM32 Cubido, you can press Control Space. Then you can have the toggle pin. Exactly the same here. I remember it was led to, but not sure about the syntax. This one will be the correct one. Two. Space and the pin. Okay. So here we write what we want to protect. It will be this code, or I will say this one on this code, because this one is outside of the region that we will protect. But just a tiny one. So I save it. Now I just need to call this function from my main. So if I go in the main.c, I've got the main, here the while one loop, and I will just add the call to my secret link, lead blinking, put some HL delay. Okay. So I think the code is okay now. Uh, the next step was to modify the linker script we are using to put the execute, the execute code that is here at a specific location. But, sorry, before modifying the script, what I want to do is to modify the compiler option for this file. So here, properties. So it's already configured, but I would say it should be in resources. CC build settings, settings, then you've got optimization. Here you need to select this option. Assumes loading data from a flash is slower than fetching instruction. 
That's true, this wording is not really in line with what the purpose of this, but you have to do it. Apply and close. As you can see, there is something modified here for this one. So now I modify the linker script. So for the linker script, first I have to declare a new region, and it will be the region that we will protect it. Let's call it PC Rob, for example, but you can call it as you want. It was an execute only region. Then, okay, we will locate it at, um, what could I do? Okay, 16K here. And here for the region. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, let's do it that way, for example. And define a length of 16K should be enough. Okay, so now we've got the region where we can put the code we want to protect. So to do that here, we will define a new section. So it's the PC Rupid, PC Rupid region. So first we should Align it as it's done here. Oh, sorry. I just copy and paste a little lady with such kind of syntax. Then, what I want to put there is everything which is coming from the let blinking. O. Blinking. O file. Okay, um, I want to put here only the execute code. That means to text. And the text store. Oops, sorry. Uh, let blinking. Okay, so it should be exactly the same name because it's an object file that is corresponding to this one. And then I should up alignment also after to ensure everything is fine. I close this. And then I will put all this stuff in the PC wrap region. So exactly this name. Okay. So here I will do the basics just to put all the execute code at this location. Okay. Let's check this. So you remember the PC wrap region start is. 800,000. Let's compile. Okay, just a warning because I don't create either file associated, so, but it's just a warning. I propose to debug this stuff. By default, it should be okay. We connect, download successful, and now we can start debugging. So, first things, let's see if it's functional or not. So, I run the code, and if we check on the board, LED is blinking. Now I propose to put a breakpoint just on the LED blinking function. So, it was on the LED blinking, see? If I put a breakpoint here, so it stop, and you can see the location of the code. So, we are in my future PC Warped region. So perfect, here yeah, everything is ready. Now we can activate the PC wrap protection. So I propose we stop this debugging. And we will use um, the STM32Q programmer to activate this and thanks the option byte. Okay, so here yeah, the debugging link is closed. I propose then we launch Q programmer. So it's still blinking. Now I see my number. If I connect, it will stop blinking because the core is out. And I can check the option byte. So here you've got the different option byte. We're interested in the PC wrap protection on the bank one because here we have only one bank um, activated or single bank configuration. Um, and now let's define our region. So. Um, we want to say eight and eight thousand. So here we just have to put 
1000 and we just protect one until this one okay so here it will be protected so on that say we can't access anymore okay i forget nothing let's apply it as you can see on the apply the lens seems not blinking anymore if i reset it it started okay so now we have activated the protection and I propose that we connect again with the Q programmer and try to dump the area where there is the code. So if I disconnect, if I reconnect, uh, I could uh, see the memory here. So we can still see the beginning of the application, so what is not secure. And let's check if we can see the code at this location now. As you can see, you only see the same pattern. So you don't see any code anymore, okay? We have seen when we break before with QBDE that at this location, we were able to see the code, okay? So um, what we can do, we can also try to connect with QBDE without flashing. So if I disconnect this one, come back to my QBDE. Now I want to debug my main the problem. I've got the region PCWAP. So I can flash this region, I can modify it for the moment. So what I will do, I will modify the debugging configuration. So here I will do a debugging configuration for my PC wrap. At the startup, as you can see, I build, I download, and I load the thimble. So what I will do, I will prevent the download because it's already flash, okay? And apply, and now if I load the debug, so it was working. If I remove up, I want to remove this breakpoint first. I launch, and if I check my targets, LED is blinking. Fine. Now let's put a breakpoint here. It stop. You can see this stop, this code is protected from so oh it's possible to stop here. In fact, we stop at one address because we just reach this address. But if you look at the disassembly code, move A0, and in fact, this one is just the pattern you've seen together. It's not really the instructions that are executed because if you try to execute this, it's not at all a toggle pin or a call to the toggle pin. It's really just this strange pattern which is an assembly here, okay? So our protection is effective. So now go, we've protected this circuit led blinking. Fine. So the protection is active. Now let's learn how to remove this protection. And to do this, it will be thanks option byte. I first close the debugging, terminate and removed. Okay, and I come back with my Q programmer. So here I connect again. As you can see, we have all the code here, the code protected. And let's go back in the option byte. First, there is this PC wrap RGP. If I do a regression of RDP without this one set, the PC wrap region will be kept. The rest of the, the flash will be erased, but not the PC wrap. Here we want to remove the PC wrap. So I will select it and I will activate this flag. Okay. Now I need to do a readout protection transition from the RDP level 1 to RDP level 0. But I'm in RDP level 0. So first I have to switch to RDP level 1. Doing this, that means as soon as you have a debugging link access to the target, the flash is locked. So your code is not running with debugging. But here it's not the purpose. This, is, this will be seen in the readout chapter. So now I do a new transition to RDP level 0. Doing this, there will be a mass error of the flash and also it will remove the PC wrap region. So it takes a while because it's errors of the flash. You can see that the option byte of the PC op have been resetted. And if I look in the flash content, everything has been erased. If I check also the protected region, everything has been erased. So now you can go on with your board. Um, I think we have seen what I want to show you in this hands-on. 
And I hope this clarifies for you the usage of, of uh, PCWAP. Please have a look in the application note I put in reference in the theory before. And you've got all the details about Linger script because it's not an easy topic, frankly speaking.